Is it possible to drown in the fountain of youth? came first, the chicken or the egg, you know, is the death or the youth. Today we're looking at this here pedal called the Recto Distortion from Nux, 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 Somebody please tell me how the hell to pronounce this company's name. Anyway, if you can't tell by the logo on it, I'll let you guess what this uh, particular amp in a box is uh, supposed to be mimicking. Let's hear some tones.
uh, I, I'm impressed. I really am. Somebody uh, mentioned to me, uh, I think it was, I think it was a viewer in the comments section of one of my other videos here recently that uh, they didn't, they weren't aware of too many rectifier in a box style distortion pedals. And ironically, I had just happened to uh, pick this thing, pick this one up off of the used market uh, in almost like new condition. I think I paid like thirty or forty bucks for it. It was cheap, I mean, real cheap, you know. But I just happened to pick this one up, and but it got me thinking. You know, the Marshall, the Marshall in a box pedals are everywhere, but you know, the Mesa in a box or the Rectifier in a box pedals, uh, not. You know, I can't think of too too many of them out there. I mean, there's there they exist. Here's one that proves that. I own two or three others. You know, so they're out there, but there is something to be said for that. They're not everywhere. Honestly, now as I'm sitting here, that sounds like something I could do another video on here down the road. Now, I gotta admit, I'm actually pretty impressed with this thing. It recreates the rectifier sound pretty faithfully, you know, in a lot of areas anyway. Uh, I, I'll admit, I'm not a real big fan of rectifiers. You know, the you know the, the bottom end is a little too loose and flubby, and I know, you know, it's real common to tighten those up with a tube screamer, etc., etc. It's just, it's just not my favorite amp sound in the world. I don't hate them, you know, there's... By any means, if somebody gave me a you know a dual rectifier or something and said, here, enjoy, I absolutely would enjoy it. I wouldn't get rid of it or anything, but they're not my favorite. So that said, you know, to take all of that technology that's in the you know an amp of a dual rectifier and put it into a little box like this and get this close in tone to it, that's pretty incredible, especially at this price point. Yep, I like it. I'm gonna keep it. For today's music plug, I recommend the record Tales of Creation by Candlemass. This record came out in 1987, 88 or something like that, maybe early 90s, I don't remember. It's been, it's a, it's been around for a while. Candlemass, is a, is, they've been around for decades. I know I make fun of the Doom bands a lot, uh, but Candlemass actually are a great band. And this record, if, you, if you're trying to, if you're looking for a good entry point into the Doom genre, which is how I discovered this record, check this one out because you know, there's some really, really cool riffs on the matter of fact, there's not a bad riff anywhere on this record. It's just good old fashioned, you know, kick-ass riffage. There we have it, the NUX, 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 I don't know, Recto Distortion Pedal, and I think you should go and check it out. I will post uh, affiliate links to this pedal down in the description below. Uh, as well as links to all the other gear used in this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.